Sketch 1 is a little unrefined, but I like the flipped symmetry. Sketch 2 is too busy. Sketch 3 has a weird pole sticking out on the left and too much leverage between these points. And here is the final design. Eventually we are going to build a proper building. So the main objective of this gate project is to learn. We got to learn how our new toys work, what their limits are, if we might need more tools and what techniques work well for us, etc. I want to do a little exploration with the two posts of the gate first and see what problems I come across because I have a friend coming over for a couple of days to help me out and I don't want to waste his time doing side projects and waiting for shipments and that kind of stuff. We had some leftover logs from someone else and some are partially cut already so after leveling it we are just squaring this first log off. I don't have a proper place to store the slabs, so a slab rack is one of those side projects that I need to do before my friend comes over. From this second log we also got a few boards. For making beams from such small logs it's basically you take the slabs off and then you take a few boards from all the sides until you are left with the beam, or post in this case. Another problem is sawdust. I'll have to find a solution for that too before I do a whole lot more sawing. I don't want it laying on the ground here. Now, processing the posts. I want to give these posts a nice asymmetric top that mirrors the design of the gate itself. If you put the line on crooked and then you saw crooked to the other side, that looks really bad, but when I measured it, it actually turned out within spec. Two millimeters off or so on a low angled cut with a handsaw, that's, that's not gonna be better if I try again. The second cut turned out much worse actually, so much so that I tried to fix it and I failed at that too. So then I just made a whole new top a few centimeters down. I totally forgot to film the making of the slab rack, but here it is. Then a solution for the sawdust. I can't just hang a bucket under there because it shoots out to the side so I have to make some kind of extension to the bucket. I used some piece of metal I had laying around and riveted it to the bucket. I got a hook from some other thing that was laying around and tied it down with some wire. Oh, and this will hang outside, so it needs some holes. I want to collect sawdust and not water. Alright, ready for my friend Michael to come. 
With the slab rack and the sawdust collector, we could just keep on trucking and we made the other six beams in a heartbeat. I still don't know what I'll do with the sawdust though. This one wheelbarrow can go into the compost. But when we are building something big, we gotta find a proper solution. Now, with the beams cut and our chisels sharpened, we are ready for part 2, in which we will make all the joinery.